Hi everybody, Steve Hallstrom back here at Luther Family Ford. What a beautiful September day we have and another reason to put a smile on our face today is we get to honor another great law enforcement division in our community and we want to say thanks to the gang from West Fargo Police Department uh, for coming out. A number of the team members are here today. We appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for what you do and thanks for coming over to show your support here today too. Uh, my name is Steve Hallstrom, President and General Manager at Flag Family Media and uh, Joel Bechtold, the General Manager at Luther Family Ford is also here with us and Joel we get to do this once a month it always puts a smile on our face. It's always fun to do and it's good to see the response we get and we're really happy to be supporting the law enforcement community here so. Yeah uh, Chief Dennis Otterness is here the leader of the West Fargo Police Department. Dennis I'll chat with you here in a minute but thank you sir for coming over and helping us get all this put together today. Yeah, so. You. You got it. Uh, we are here uh, to really say thank you to the West Fargo Police Department. And we are honoring one person in particular today, but we know that when one part of our community is served well by good and solid law enforcement, it matters to everybody in all parts of the community. So uh, thank you to West Fargo Police Department, to all of you, and we have a special honoree today. And we want to say uh, thank you and congratulations. So would you please join me in giving a big round of applause to Officer Wesley Booth. So I've got a biography here on Wesley. I'll read that in a minute, but uh, let's hear from the man himself. Wesley, congratulations. Thanks for coming over here today. Tell me what this means to be honored and, and appreciated by your team. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, it means a lot. Um, I'm very grateful to be honored and appreciated. It just feels good when uh, your hard work can get recognized by your team. Yeah, absolutely. We understand you've done a lot of good hard work. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. So uh, Officer Booth, a little biography here that we can tell you about him. He grew up in the small town of Pahrump, Nevada, which is just outside of Las Vegas. In 2010, graduated from Cinco Ranch High School in Katy, Texas. After school, he attended Norwich University in Vermont, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Criminal Justice in 24. Uh, 2014. From there, Officer Booth went on to serve in the United States Army. He was hired as a police officer in Leesburg, Virginia in November of 2018 and graduated from the Northern Virginia Criminal Justice Training Academy in June of 2019. He moved to West Fargo in April of 2020, so he's seen just about every state in the union, I think, by this point here, and uh, worked at Marvin Windows until being hired by the West Fargo Police Department in June of 2021. When not working, Officer Booth likes to spend time with his wife, read, play video games, make hot sauce, go to the gun range and play golf. So uh, I, I've got to ask you about a few of these things here, Wesley. This is, I, I love this. Uh, first of all, tell me about the hot sauce. Uh, yeah, so I just really like spicy foods and um, I just got bored of regular hot sauces, so I decided to start making my own. And in my opinion, I make some pretty good ones. <laughs> I love it. So is this a possible uh, commercial opportunity in the future or for now it's just a hobby? Oh, right now it's just a hobby, but I've had people tell me I should try to bottle it and sell ah, it. Okay, all right. So uh, we were talking about this biography and, uh, okay, Nevada, Texas, Virginia, Vermont, and now North Dakota, which obviously is the best. You saved the best for last year, obviously. But tell me about what it's been like to live in all those different places, and maybe that's how, how that has shaped you in, in law enforcement. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, there's one missing off of there, and it's Alaska, where I was okay. with the Army. <laughs> okay. But um, I, it's pretty exciting to live in all these different places. You get to experience different parts of the country um, and just see how uh, different parts of the country interact with each other. So it just helps you learn, especially when you're younger as you're growing up, so you can really learn um, and develop skills as you go on. What do you like about North Dakota compared to some of those other places? Uh, to be honest, I like the cold weather. Uh, that's kind of why I moved here. Um, definitely a lot cheaper here to live and it just seems to be a lot more supportive of a community up here. No, oh, really good. Did you always want to be in law enforcement? Tell us about kind of how this got into your blood. Yeah, um, ever since I was a kid, my dad would watch these uh, cop movies on TV. I've just always wanted to get into law enforcement, um, seeing that growing up, and then as, as I got older, it was more to serve the community as, and, and just keep serving after I got out of the Army. And we get to thank you twice today for your service in the Armed Forces as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Thank you. Yeah, so I commissioned as a second lieutenant right out of college, um, served in Alaska. I went to Korea for a little bit. Um, I was a quartermaster officer, so I just uh, handled mostly logistics, finances, and maintenance. 
Okay, so a lot of different things. What is the, uh, of all the things you've done, the places you've gone, uh, the things you've done in law enforcement, tell us what role you've enjoyed the most. Maybe something where you just really love doing it or would love to do it again, but is there a part of what you've done in law enforcement that you really have enjoyed the most? Yeah, I, um, I really like the traffic enforcement role I'm in right now, to be honest. Um, I just really like helping uh, educate the community on traffic laws because a lot of people are out there don't realize what laws they're breaking a lot of times and just helping educate that and increase our traffic safety for the citizens on the road is very important to me. Are most people pretty good about it or do you get some static once in a while? I get some static every once in a while, but most people are pretty good. Most people are pretty good. A little bit more about Officer Booth, uh, and this comes from the uh, police department here. Uh, he's shown great commitment to the West Fargo PD and the citizens of West Fargo through his proactive traffic enforcement efforts. Officer Booth was recently selected to serve in the West Fargo PD's traffic enforcement unit. He's working diligently to grow this unit into much more than the previous truck regulatory unit. Officer Booth works on traffic safety details, investigates traffic related complaints, truck regulatory details, and crash investigation, collects speed data around town using radar boxes, as well as setting up our speed trailer in various neighborhoods. Officer Booth has future dreams to grow the program by adding vehicles, fatality crash investigation and motorcycle patrol. Officer Booth is a great team player, often helping out his fellow officers on patrol by responding to calls and taking reports if needed. Just got to ask you, having so many of your uh, teammates here with you today, what does it mean to be supported the way you are? Uh, it's, it's awesome that they're all out here uh, to support me and uh, to recognize me in this way. It's just good to see that there's a big family here. Yeah. Have you got some uh, hopes and dreams for your career? Would you like to be a chief someday or do something in leadership at some point? Uh, absolutely. Um, right now, I just want to grow this unit like it says on, on there. But uh, I definitely want to grow this unit and eventually uh, make it to lieutenant. And uh, my wife wants me to go for chief. But okay. I, right now, I'm sticking with a realistic uh, goal for now. Well, we're happy to have you doing what you're doing here for as long as you want to do it. So thanks again for your service and everything you do. Thank Chief, you. I want to ask you a little bit sure. about this guy. We read some of these great words that yep. have been given to us, but just uh, give us from the heart what this gentleman means to your team. Well, he was one of the uh, first people I got to hire uh, as I came in here as a new chief in West Fargo. And uh, obviously you can tell by the work that he's been doing, he was a fantastic addition to our team. And, uh, you know, the inaugural selection of him moving him into a traffic enforcement unit uh, really was a, a step in the in a direction where we could be more responsive to some of the complaints that we're seeing as our city continues to grow and we couldn't have made a better selection uh, he has really taken I think what my vision was for that and uh, and carried it out and uh, done uh, more than that actually and uh, and is doing just a fantastic job in the community. Yeah, great. Um, I, I know you've got a number of the other team members here today too, but tell us a little bit about your team, how many people you have working for you and kind of maybe what some of the things are you're seeing as trends in the West Fargo community that are keeping you all busy these days. Yeah, well, I, you know, the, the community continues to grow like crazy, and uh, we like that, but it does bring challenges. Uh, it brings an increased uh, call for service load. Uh, some of those things, um, we're up to 70 police officers uh, this year. Uh, we've asked the commission to add another five uh, additional sworn positions for next year. If that, if that ends up uh, holding, uh, we'll be up to 75 sworn officers. So, and that is really um, in an attempt to... Uh, to just be able to be responsive to some of the to some of the crime trends that are going on and, and just the increased volume on, in terms of calls for service. Now, Officer Booth is in a uh, in a unit that really um, is responsible for responding not only to crash investigations and doing some education out in the public, but also uh, responding to some of those uh, quality of life issues that we have in the city as our city continues to grow and, and uh, we have a need for uh, full-time traffic enforcement out there. Uh, just in terms of uh, public safety and so he's doing a great job we hope to be able to add an additional person into that unit as well next year yeah very good well chief again we've said it before we'll say it again thank you for your leadership and thanks to this uh, great team and all you do in west fargo keeping your part of the community safe and i know you help out a lot with fargo and the great thing about law enforcement there's a great partnership here and everybody does work together so thanks for all you and your team do to make it a great community for the rest of us yeah i really appreciate it appreciate luther ford and uh, flag family for the recognition well-deserved recognition for our officers, and uh, it's really important for them to hear from the community uh, all that support, so we really do appreciate it. Yeah, well, we're happy to do it. Thanks yeah, again. Thanks. Joel, uh, we talk about this every time we get to do this, but it really does mean a lot to us to say thank you in the way that we do here. It, it does. I mean, thank you. How's that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, um, 
it's something we really like to do and it's yeah. really rewarding so yeah for sure. and we appreciate what you guys do so keep up the good work yeah yeah. A lot of good work is being done, and uh, I'm sure they will definitely keep that up in the days ahead. Uh, Luther Family Ford also is donating a $100 gift card to Officer Booth today. And I was talking with Wesley a little bit ahead of time, and he's got a place that he would love to send that to. And uh, tell us a little bit about that organization and what they do. It's our, uh, the organization is called Everlasting Hope. Um, pretty much they're a fertility organization that helps um, couples and families with suffering from infertility issues. Uh, they provide them with grants and financial assistance. Um, emotional assistance. Um, they also are working with state legislator on some of the laws regarding how insurance covers fertility and stuff like that. So um, I have a personal connection to it. So I know that it's a really important organization out there and I just wanted to get them some additional help. Based right here in North Dakota too. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're very good. Thank you for that. And uh, paying that forward will, I'm sure, be a big blessing to them. They'll be able to use that here at Luther Family Ford for whatever they need uh, for their vehicles, maintenance and things like that with their vehicles as well. Sandy's Donuts also saying thanks. We'll be delivering some goodies here to Luther Family Ford as well as the West Fargo Police Department. Uh, we have created an honoree section on our website, am1100theflag.com. If you'd like to learn more about Officer Booth or any of the other people that we have honored in this salute to law enforcement going back a little more than five and a half years now you can certainly check that out online you'll be able to see a little bit about the honorees there as well coming up in the days ahead as well we're going to be inviting officer booth to join kevin and alex on the need to know morning show on am 1100 the flag and fm 92.3 he'll be he will be uh able to visit with them and do a radio version of that as well. At our company, we always like to say this as well, when there is action taken by law enforcement in our community and it makes the news, we give the benefit of the doubt to the men and women who go through that training to do what they do so uh, they're able to take the appropriate steps to protect and serve our community. So with that, again, I want to say thanks to Joel and his team here at Luther Ford. Thanks for having us back there, old friend. We're glad to do it, yeah. so we'll keep be, it up. We'll be back again before we know it. The, the months fly fast, past. doesn't it? it You're sure just does. boof. Just Absolutely. Like that. It's it's always fun to do it, though. And uh, again, thank you to everybody West Fargo PD. Appreciate you guys and you ladies for doing what you do. Thanks so much. And uh, again, as we finish up here today, let's give one more big round of applause to Officer Wesley Booth. <laughs> That'll do it for this ceremony, the Luther Family Ford Salute to Law Enforcement. I'm Steve Hallstrom. We'll see you back here next time on am1100theflag.com.